What is going on everybody? We are back playing uh, some more Pokemon Sun and Moon. Have another Wi-Fi battle on Battle Spot and it's another Battle Royale. I am absolutely loving this game mode. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that once or twice already. But uh, yeah, these are just too much fun. So, how about we jump on into this battle and we shall see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to lead off with my gorgeous shiny Hydreigon. And you ever walk somewhere or go to a restaurant or something or whatever and just realize you, you know, you're in the wrong neighborhood? Well, in real life, I've probably never done that either. But right now, Hydreigon, he kind of knows that uh, feeling. Uh, I got the Avlug there and two Greninjas. And Greninjas, they usually carry the Ice Beam. So, uh, yeah, if you could take a guess on who everyone's targeting right now, yeah, it'd probably be me. So, first off first, I go for the Flash Cannon on the Avalug. Um, I knew he had the Sturdy, but I wanted to set him up on the off chance that maybe they don't kill me. Um, Greninja, no surprise there, goes for the Ice Beam, and I take that fairly well. Um, Greninja 2, who let's just call him Red Greninja for right now, sets up a layer of spikes. And, uh, you know, sometimes I question moves like that. And you know, why why do that and not go for an attack? And then if you think about it, it, it is a good strategy. It'll break any uh, any sturdy user that comes in, and it'll break any uh, you know focus sash user. So you know it's not a bad strategy, not the one I would go with. But you know, if someone wants to do it, makes makes my life a little bit easier down the road. So Avlug, you know, goes for the avalanche and. Uh, you know, Hydreigon, he was able to take the Ice Beam no problem, but he's not going to be able to take the uh, the Ice Cold Crash. There was just, you know, no hope there, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so the Greninja, he's going to go for the Low Hanging Fruit and uh, Water Shroken the uh, Avalug. I'm going to go for the uh, Thunderbolt on Avalug, once again, trying to, you know, pick up an easy kill. But, it's not not for me today. Alright, so he brings in a Garchomp, and uh, this is starting to look like a Garchomp party. Um, kind of disappointed I didn't bring mine. But uh, his over there in, what was that, the blue corner is going to Mega Evolve to Mega Garchomp. And that's not one I've ever really experimented with. But one thing, another questionable play, Red Corner. Um, you know, he's the one that set up the spikes. Alright, I could understand doing that. Why not use Ice Beam? I mean... Does he not carry it? He has to carry it. Every Greninja carries it. It's, it's one of those staple moves, but I actually don't even think this one was uh, Protein, so maybe this is a Battle Bond uh, Greninja. Anyway, Garchomp over there, he's going to go for the Earthquake. I think he was expecting an Ice Beam too, and that would have been an easy kill on, uh, on Greninja. But for now, it just barely keeps him above half. Uh, Blue Garchomp over there, he's uh, he's pretty good with it too. And I was honestly surprised. Uh, Blue, let's uh, actually no, let's call him Mega Garchomp. Let's make life easy here. He goes for the flamethrower on me, and I've never seen a Garchomp carry flamethrower. So yeah, yeah, that was weird. I was able to survive it, and I went for uh, the Gigavolt Havoc. You know me, if anything's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, and uh, I send that Greninja into another dimension. You know, had he used a ice move, I, I don't know if he would have survived the earthquake, but uh, maybe he would have survived that, maybe he survives nothing, maybe you know, Red Corner was meant to uh, lose that round anyway, but uh, remember earlier when I was saying that it was starting to look like a Garchomp party? Now I'm really regretting not bringing mine. I, I would have switched him in at this point for the uh, the LOLs of it. But here I am. I'm Vicky Volt, and uh, there's three Garchomps, and they're all, you know, doing drag attacks against each other. I guess no one's, you know, paying attention to uh, to little old me over there. So I go for the energy ball into the empty space, and uh, you know, one of these days, I want to take a tally of how many times I attack a spot in a battle royale. And how many times that Pokemon in the spot is already dead and gone. And I want to count it up versus, uh, you know, everyone else who does that. And I, I have a feeling that more often than not, I'm hitting empty spaces. 
Alright, so we are down another Garchomp, and I go for the Thunderbolt onto uh, Greninja. You know, you, you don't want to bring a Greninja in on a Vicavolt. It's just a bad strategy, and uh, I might not be able to one-shot a Garchomp. Uh, I can easily one-shot a Greninja. Now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to look to see if uh, you know he's got Hidden Power Ice. Because if he does, I face so many Garchomps. It is absolutely ridiculous that, that that is a move that I really wish I could put on him. I don't think he can learn uh, Ice Beam. I don't know. I might be wrong. Anyway, we're at the point of this battle. I'm really actually begging the other people to kill my Vika Volt. It's like, please, please, please take him out. Because, and I, I know you're asking why, because in the background, I got Mammoth Swine. But I want to bring him in safely. I, I don't want, you know, on the off chance that everyone attacks that slot and you know, I lose my Mammoth. Uh, so. I'm hoping they take me down. And on a side note, Never Ending Nightmare has to be one of the coolest looking Z moves in the game. I mean, there's a few I like, but uh, I think that one absolutely has to be my uh, my absolute top tier favorite. And one of these days, I will put it on a ghost type. So here we are again, and uh, you know who would work perfectly in this situation for an easy cleanup of all three? You know, all three being weak to an earthquake, but you know, all good. Leave me in there, and no one's paying attention to the Vicky Bolt anyway. So it doesn't affect me, or that attack doesn't affect me. And Venus Sword's gonna go for the earthquake, and actually, that's just kind of threw me off there. Why? Why I said it didn't affect me before it even went off? I don't know. I'm all sorts of confused here, and it doesn't take much to confuse me. Believe me. But uh, that is the end of the battle. Um, it was a lot of fun. Somehow, and I don't know how they decide this, but I picked up the win on that one. Um, like I said, I, I don't ever keep track on these. I mostly do these just for fun. But, you know, a win is always nice. Alright, well, if you did enjoy that... Alright, well, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that like button and... Uh, you know, if you're new here and you want to see more Pokemon battles, please uh, please subscribe. And uh, I will see you all next time. Alright, take care. Bye.